channel 33 RPM. Today we're playing record roulette. What's that you ask? Stick around, I'll tell you right after that. Channel 33 RPM. Hi guys, my name is Frank. It's Sunday, that means it's time for an all new episode. I asked my wife Sherry to pull 10 mystery records from these shelves behind me. Hopefully, hopefully I will be able to defend all these records. I call it record roulette because as I learned last time I did this, it's always a gamble. You never know what she'll pull. The 10 records are in here. I have no clue what's in here. Let's play. The first mystery record. I'll show you what it is before I see what it is. Rogue Mail. All right, I can see why she pulled this one. She figured it was probably uh, questionable artwork. Truthfully, I bought this one uh, as part of a um, lot of records. I haven't listened to this one too much yet. Next mystery record is, hopefully I'm pulling it the right way, Georgia Satellites. Sherry, you did not give me a challenge with these. Georgia Satellites, uh, this is a good album. Uh, I just love the tune, Keep Your Hands to Yourself. Reaching into the bag. What's this one? <laughs> Let's see what the song titles are. They're in German. Next record is... Hound Dog Taylor and the House Rockers. Blues, classic blues. This one is on the Alligator label. This is a good album for kicking back. I love listening to old blues once in a while. Happy to have this one in the collection. <laughs> soundtrack, Great Outdoors. I think I mentioned recently that my wife and I collect soundtracks from the 80s. This is one of those ones. Great Outdoors starring Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. Classic 80s comedy. I actually really dig this movie. Uh, what tunes are on here? You know, Wilson Pickett, Joe Walsh, Dave Wilcox. Again, a lot of these 80s soundtracks I've purchased, not necessarily for the songs, but for the movie itself. One of these days we hope to have, you know, sort of make an area here in the basement with a bunch of, um, sort of a movie area with a bunch of soundtracks on the wall. Happy Moog. The Moog is sort of a um, keyboard synthesizer type uh, instrument. And we have Def Leppard Hysteria, classic Def Leppard from 1986, 1987, I was a year off. This was the follow up to the mega successful Pyromania. Pyromania I do love, I still listen to that album once in a while. Truthfully, I haven't listened to Hysteria in a while. Of course, this is huge, produced a whole bunch of singles. A lot of people still absolutely love this album. I, it's all right. This is a great, this is a great album. Joe Bonamassa, Bonamassa, Joe Bonamassa, live featuring Beth Hart. This is live in Amsterdam. I love Joe Bonamassa. I don't talk about the blues and that kind of stuff on this channel too much, but he is an absolutely smoking guitar player. A lot of people compare him to Stevie Ray Vaughan. I don't think he touches Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray is one of my favorite all-time guitarists. But Joe Bonamassa is great. This is a great record. Triple set. I had to order this one. Ah, record's falling. This is Mars Mac McElpine, Aldridge, Rock, and Sarzo. This was a quote-unquote shredder musician supergroup from, I'm going to guess the year, probably 86 again. Bonsai Records. What year is this one? 87. Of course, Tommy Aldridge, uh, fantastic drummer. Over the years, he's played with Ozzy, uh, White Snake, Rudy Sarzo, another uh, great bass player, Quiet Riot, Ozzy, White Snake, Tony McElpine, and Rock. Was it Bob Rock? I always forget that guy's name. Lead vocals, Robert Rock. And finally, I'm pretty sure she was trying to challenge my heavy metal credibility with some of these ones. It's uh, Bon Jovi. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate the time you took to pull these records. Let me know what you thought of today's episode. Should I be embarrassed by any of these selections? I don't think so. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a quick like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Join the community and you will never miss another episode again. Remember, if you're interested, also check out my merch store. I will leave a link below this video. Thanks, guys, for watching. I do appreciate the support. Until next time, keep on spinning.